Welcome to Men of Abundance, the podcast for those looking to level up their lives by hanging out with some of the greatest leaders and established professionals in our community, living a life of integrity, honor, and the abundance mentality. Prepare to pay it forward with your host, former army medic turned lifestyle entrepreneur, Wally Carmichael. Aloha, men of abundance. Hey, I've got something new coming at you today. I decided to start repurposing my Facebook live videos and combine this Pay It Forward Aloha Friday with my Facebook live video so that I can take that video, put it on YouTube, take the audio and put it in the podcast and share it with you. It was a little choppy. This one went a little kind of wonky and we'll see how it works out in the future, but I'm sure that will get better as many things do. In fact, this right here is a perfect example of just taking action and getting it done. I've been wanting to repurpose my conversations with you, and I've been wanting to put that onto YouTube since I do the video and I do the Facebook Live, and I haven't done Facebook Live in quite a few weeks. So I wanted to get back into doing Facebook Live. I wanted to share my thoughts of the week on the podcast and on the Facebook Live and on YouTube, but of course I didn't want to repeat the same information two, three, or maybe even four times. I don't know where the fourth came from, it just sounded good. But anyway, hey listen, if you're just now discovering Men of Abundance, this is your first time here, understand that this is definitely not the normal episode that you would normally hear. Normally I am interviewing an abundant leader in the community, not always an influencer. I like to bring you the people that you've never heard of. I have brought you a few people that you definitely know about and have heard of, possibly. But I like to bring the stories that you've never heard of so that you can get some new insight. This episode is a Pay It Forward Aloha Friday, where I share with you my thoughts that I've had throughout the week based on conversations that I've had, books I've read, podcasts I listened to, or something just wacky I thought about while I was in the shower or riding my bike or, I don't know, out playing in the water with my kids or whatever. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this. This one's a little bit different because I'm on the beach And I'm recording the Facebook Live video. If you want to watch the Facebook Live video, or if you want to watch the video, you can do that from two different locations. Right on the Men of Abundance website at the Live Journey link. That's where I post my Live Journey episodes, and I've got a bunch of them up there. And I just started a new um, I just started a new YouTube channel specifically for Men of Abundance. There's two videos up there now. This is the second one. And right now you can find that Men of Abundance YouTube channel just by going to YouTube and searching Men of Abundance. And you should see the Men of Abundance logo. It's a black and orange logo. You'll see it pop up right there. All right. Now I hope you enjoy the audio of my Facebook live video. This is the first time I've repurposed it for the podcast. Enjoy. Aloha. Hey, if you're catching this on the replay... Just understand that this is a live Facebook video when it was recorded, if you're catching it on YouTube, or if you're catching the audio version on the Men of Abundance podcast. I'm going to be repurposing this. Good morning, Jessica. So you'll be hearing me talking to certain people that are chiming in on the video, on the live, and uh, just understand that this was a Facebook live video when it was first recorded. How you doing? Thanks for jumping on. Hey, so I'm, uh, I'm repurposing some of my content now. So those of you who are jumping on will know that when you listen to the uh, replay, thanks for the thumbs up. When you listen to the replay, either on the Men of Abundance podcast, which I'll post later today, this is my Pay It Forward Aloha Friday episode. And I'll also be posting this video on my YouTube channel at my Men of Abundance YouTube channel. So the message today, I miss you too, Jessica, I really do. Hey, um... You know that uh, Dylan and Dominic are both going to be down there. They're in California right now, but they're going to be back into Phoenix real soon. All right, so today I'm talking about balance. And so many people talk about having balance in their life. And in my experience, the fact of the matter is, if you have balance in your life, you're really not progressing. You're not growing. You're not, um, you're not learning new things. And let me explain this in a, in a kind of an analogy. You, you know, like a teeter-totter, a seesaw, whatever you want to call it. When the two kids are on either end, and they're both exactly the same size, 
they're not doing anything they're just sitting there and their legs are kind of dangling and they're not having a whole lot of fun right so they're just they're trying to get some motion but they're both the same exact size so they won't teeter either way and they're just gonna sit there until a disruptor comes in somebody comes on the playground and they push one of the sides down and then when they push them down they teach the child that's never been on a teeter-totter or a seesaw before to push their legs and push up and start going up and down and then they teach the other kid the same thing push up just enough so that they can get the movement to start going up and down and then the kids are having a blast they're having fun they're learning they're learning physics they probably don't realize they're learning physics because they're having so much fun but they are in fact learning physics and then they're going to learn a bit, little bit about failure as well because if one of those kids decides to jump off and the other kid slams to the bottom, those of you who have been on a seesaw know what I'm talking about. And by the way, we don't see those in playgrounds anymore. I don't see seesaws, swings, or even those merry-go-round things that we used to push each other on. Why is that? I think we've become too, too safety conscious for our own good. Anyway, the, uh, the thing about that is, is when the teeter-totter and the seesaw is perfectly straight, thanks for all the likes, I appreciate that, um, there's, no, there's no fun, there's no learning, there's no movement. But as soon as you start getting that counterbalance and going back and forth, you start having movement. It's kind of the same in life. When you're trying to progress and learn something new, you're going to have a counterbalance. For instance, when I started my podcast a year ago, over a year ago, I had abs. I was in excellent shape and I'm not in bad shape now but my abs aren't there anymore because I had a counterbalance. I had to start paying more attention to my podcast, my community, my uh, listeners, answering questions, building eventually it's now going into a, a continuity site and a, and a coaching business which I had no, dis no idea that that was going to happen. So I had a counterbalance, I was spending more time on the business and more time on the podcast than I was on my health. Now, you can counterbalance certain things in life. You can counterbalance, you can kind of neglect certain things in life. Not for very long, though, but you can neglect kind of, you can neglect your job, not by not going to your job and not by doing your job, but not by continuously progressing in your job and trying to do things. I'm using these analogies because I want you to understand that there are certain things in life that you can kind of leave to the side or, or maintain. That's the word I'm looking for. You can kind of maintain. But as soon as you want to start becoming a better, uh, let's say you want to become better, you want to learn an instrument. Then you're going to start, when you come home from work, you're going to start, start spending more time uh, on that. You're going to start spending, instead of spending time with the kids and the family, you're going to start you're gonna come home, you're gonna eat dinner, then you're gonna practice your instrument if you wanna get good at it really quick, right? So there's a counterbalance there. You're learning and you're growing. Does that make sense? I, I'm, I, I know I'm kinda of going on. I've got it better written out. If you wanna to go to the blog and go to menofabundance.com, at the top there's a link that says blog. <laughs> and you click on that, I'm gonna have it all written out with some graphics and everything. It's gonna be much cooler than just me talking. This video is gonna be there as well. So I just want you to understand that. I want you to grow in life. I want you to learn. I want you to progress through your life. But understand, you're not gonna have balance if you decide to start growing. Kevin, what's going on? How you doing, man? Brandy, or who is that? I can't, I, oh, Rick, what's going on? Anyway, the, the, you, 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 if you're going to grow in life, you need a counterbalance. You can't have a perfectly balanced life and expect to grow. Some part of it has to kind of be out of whack. Thanks, Kevin. I appreciate that, man. And uh, so that's my message for today. I'm on my way to work. I'm on the bike trail right now. And I decided to stop out here. It's such a gorgeous, beautiful morning. wanted to share that with you. And I'm getting ready to go over and get in my kayak and finish my commute to work. Robin, how are you doing? I miss you guys. Awesome. Aloha. Take care. You can find this video if you're not already looking at it on YouTube, on Facebook. It's going to be on my blog at Men of Abundance. Go check it out. And I'll have the content in there so I'll make a little bit more sense as I explain to you the difference between having balance in your life and having a counterbalance in your life and which way you want to go. Aloha. Take care. 
I don't know about you guys, but I think that turned out okay. I'd love to hear your comments. If you could, please subscribe on your favorite platform. Either one other place that I that you can watch the video on it, I forgot to mention, was actually on Facebook. If you're a Facebook friend of mine, then you can just look on my Facebook timeline and watch it there. Then, of course, if you go ahead and watch it over on YouTube, it would be totally awesome if you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel and share that channel with everybody else. Also, don't forget to share this podcast and go and leave a rating and review on iTunes. You can do that if you're on the website. Click on the leave a review button right under the podcast player. It takes you right to iTunes. Or if you're on your smartphone, you can easily leave a rating and review by searching for Men of Abundance. You have to go search again, even though you're already subscribed. Search for Men of Abundance in iTunes, then click on the show art, and it will take you to where you can leave a rating and review. I truly appreciate it. All right, guys, it's been fun. Go out and live your life of abundance, and make sure to pay it forward.